Hi dear friends, how are you all? Welcome to YouTube channel HR Tutorials India. In this video, we will see how to calculate ESI. How to calculate ESI? ESI stands for Employee State Insurance, which is a contributive fund which consists of both employer and employee contributions for self-financed healthcare and insurance fund. The scheme ESI is managed by ESIC, which is Employee State Insurance Corporation and this is governed by ESI Act 1948, which is the largest integrated need-based social insurance schemes for employees. This scheme protects the employees in uncertain and unfortunate situations by providing cash benefits and healthcare benefits. Both factories and shop establishments having 10 or more employees are covered under ESI and eligible to avail the benefits of ESI. It's not that every establishment whose employee strength is 10 or more are covered under ESI. There is an eligibility criteria which states that an employee's monthly income excluding overtime bonus and leave encashment does not exceed 21,000. Then that employee is covered under ESI Act. Wages as per ESI Act The contributions employee and employer are made basis on the wages paid to the employees. Some of the inclusions from the wage components are as follows, which means contributions from employee employer are made on the basis of wages paid to the employees. The inclusions which are under wages are as follows. Inclusions Basic pay, Dennis allowance, city compensatory allowance, house rent allowance, incentives including sales commission, medical allowance, meal allowance, any other special allowances attendance and overtime payments how to compute esi esi contribution rate reduced earlier employee share was 4.75 and employee share was 1.75 but as per the new slab employer share is 3.25 and employee share is 0.75 together it is 4 percent the rates of esi contribution are calculated on the wages paid currently the employee's contribution is 0.75 percent of the wages paid are payable and employer contribution is 3.25 of the wages paid or payable. Illusions. Let us see an example how ESA is computed. Let us assume Mr. India working with wages of 18,000 in a factory unit. The contribution will be as follows. As the salary is less than 21,000, Mr. India is eligible for ESI. Let us see the contribution which are as follows. Employee contribution is 0.75% of 18,000 which is 135 rupees and employer contribution is 3.25% of 18,000 that is 585. Then comes the total contribution that is 4% of 18,000 is 720. So a total contribution of rupees 720 will be made. The responsibility of detecting the contribution and depositing the same is on the employers. The employer must deposit the amount within 15 days of the end of the calendar month in which the deduction is made. For example, the ESI is deducted during the month of January, then the respective amount to be paid to ESI is within 15 days of the following month, that is on or before 15th of February. Contribution payment can be done offline as well as online through designated branches of SBI or other designated branches. ESI contribution period and benefit period. Let us now have a look about the ESI contribution period and benefit period. The concept of contribution period covers the employee in the event of wages increasing from threshold limit of 21,000. For example, if the salary or wages of an employee is being increased more than 21,000, then the employee will not be covered under ESI. But the contribution period matters because when the contribution was paid by the employer and employee during the period where he was under the threshold limit, he was covered under ESI. After increasing the salary threshold limit, he will not be covered under ESI, but the contribution period varies. Let us now see with an example about the contribution period. Let us continue with the above example. Say Mr. India was earning wages of 18,000 till June 2020. The wages increased to 22,000 from July 2020. The contribution period is from 1st April to 30th September 2020. Hence, the deduction will continue on the revised salary up to September and he will be eligible for the benefit up to 30th June of the following year. 
and the contribution period is from 1st of april to 30th of september and his salary or wages were increased in the month of july the payment of contribution will continue till september ending and the eligibility or the benefit period of the employee mr india will be up to 30th of june of the following year that is 2021 similar way an employee mr india na earns a wage of 20000 till october 2020 and from next month he earns 23000 the deduction must continue on the revised salary up to 31st march and he will be eligible for benefit to december 2021 this picture will give a clear idea about the contribution period and the benefit period for mr india salary revision was in july 2020 and the contribution period is from 1st april to 30th september and the benefit period is from 1st january to june 2021 When comes to Mr Indiana salary revision took place in November 2020 whereas contribution period is from 1st October to 31st March 2021 and the benefit period will continue from 1st of July to 31st December so dear friends hope you understood how to calculate ESI and the contribution period and the benefit period of ESI if you have any queries regarding this video please do comment in the comment section i will be happy enough to answer all your queries If you like this video please do subscribe and share among your friends thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day